We should go to Ikea sometime. We should go to Sweden. I'm not saying goodbye yet, but I'm, I'm getting ready. Yeah. I'm getting ready to say it's goodbye. It's hard to say goodbye. Why do you gotta pee with the door open, man? I think this is the final time I'll need to get my blood taken. <laughs> Your bangs are beautiful. Cooperate. <laughs> What's up guys? We're off and coming at you from Brenda K. Boos. Brenda K. Boos. We're just parked outside of the uh, post office. We're gonna go to quickly check our P.O. box and uh, Lou's off today. Lou's actually oh. off. How many days are you off this week? I work tomorrow, then I'm off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. What? So we got a party. Yeah. Like really, I need this. Holy crap, it's hot in here. It's been like a super productive weekend. Lou is working all weekend and I was just like trying to check things off. We've been planning for our, uh, an upcoming portage trip. So Monday lunch just, Boat if, lunch. if you keep in mind, yeah, keep in mind you're probably gonna be eating in the And there's a little bit of involved uh, in organizing for that, like getting food ready, and we'll talk more about food and gear and stuff. Yeah. I'm really excited because I just ordered some new uh, adventure, adventure shoes. shoes. I'm finally gonna join the adventure shoe crew. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking forward to finding that in the mail as well. That won't yes. be here, but right. anyway. We got a freaking Ikea magazine catalog. I'm actually kind of excited about that. Is that weird? I could, you I look could good look, today. I could look Did through I tell that. You, that. you look good. You look styling today. I like it. Thank you. I'm wearing my favorite little necklace. So that makes me styling because I'm wearing a necklace? Yeah. Probably. No, I just, <laughs> it's just, you look good. You just look styling. Aww, you look you're, hip. You're a doll. Best guy right here. Thanks, hubby. I got a new tin. Oh, they're check, nice, right? Check this out. I took a picture of the funky? old tin and new tin. Did you know that? It's so colorful. I love it. It's beautiful. Very nice. All right, so we just dropped off our car. He's not done, man. So we just dropped off our car to get an oil change. Brenda is, uh, well, she's getting in, lubed up. She's in for a lube. This is the part of the vlog where we go through the IKEA catalog and try and pronounce all of the Swedish names. God Morgan Tolkien Tornaviken. That means sink cabinet with 45 centimeters countertop sink. You can't even read the English words. <laughs> Frasian. The Langen Viscan Good Bacon. Fragin. God Morgan. Freiken. Freiken. Belviken. Ragrand. We should go to IKEA sometime. We should go to Sweden. Simplify. $399 round trip to Stockholm. What? Master B. What the heck is that? You just had a commercial in your <laughs> side your friggin' brain? Not a sponsor. Master by? Dinen. Laden. Veskin. Soderham. Brackna. Ooh, I like that map. We have a map from the Hagids. I know, Thank I you, don't Hagids. know where it is. I have it somewhere in a box somewhere it's safe. I hope that it wasn't stolen. Don't push my head. Speaking of the Hague, I'm sorry, come back, I'm sorry. <laughs> Speaking of the Hague goods and P.O. boxes, Christy sent us Can some picture wealth for you. Can we just pick the camera up? This is so uncomfortable. Gosh. Christy started something called Canvas and Cove. Check it out on Instagram. She sent Lou some lovely uh, like prints. Yeah. And just like, it's got some nice handwritten quotes and stuff. We'll show you that. Uh, when we get home, but that was that was a really nice, thoughtful gift, and you guys should go check out her Canvas and Cove account on Instagram and do follow it. her. Yeah, do it. She's, She's very, very talented. Cool. Anyway, she also got us a map a few years ago when we were living with my parents. And it's packed away somewhere. And I want to hang it up on the wall, but I haven't been able to find it yet. We'll find it and we'll mark off all of the cool places that we are going to go. That we're, no, that we've been. That Can't we've break been. the rules. No, but we will mark them off once we go there. Monarch, I'm distracted. Fast malted. So we just got Brenda back and Ralph has some news, man. Got some bad news about Brenda. Brenda's, Brenda's not doing too well. Brenda is very sick. 
Oh, Brenda. So, what were you saying? Well, we may be in the last days of Brenda. Uh, because, so, the mechanic was just saying, like, the brake line back left is, like, almost shot, and it could go at any minute. That's terrifying. And he was just saying, like, there's, just, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done. He was just saying it's not safe to be driving on highways or long trips, which is crappy because we have a couple coming up, so we're going to have to rent a car. Um, but yeah. he's going to call me and let me know, like, what it would cost. But because it's an old car, he's like, I can't tell you whether it's worth it to put that kind of money in it because if it's like 1500 bucks to fix the brake lines in the front uh, calipers or whatever yeah it's okay. it's not worth putting that kind of money into Brenda unfortunately so we might have to put her down <sighs> oh my gosh so that's not fun no so but you know what I was just trying to think like when he was saying everything wrong with her I was like man Brenda had a great run she was like oh, a, huge, we love her. a huge gift for six months mm -hmm. and like I'm happy that we got any time out of her. I'm not saying goodbye yet, but I'm, I'm getting ready. Yeah. I'm getting ready to say it's goodbye. It's hard to say goodbye. And we honestly, we got her from, if you don't know the story of Brenda, we got her from I'll put the link. Ralph's grandma's sister who's 94. Yeah. And now. we put 500 bucks into it, I think. The car was given to us. Well, my brother gave us his old car. We sold it for scrap, and that covered getting Brenda on the on the road, on the road which yeah. was, yeah, about 500 bucks. Yeah. And so it was basically a free car for us, which we were, like, super happy about, and, and yeah. it was really generous of Aunt Dorothy. Yeah, so. Sad days. <laughs> it is. Ew, he just flushed. Why you gotta pee with the door open, man? You were showing me stuff. <laughs> it's not true. I'm not like that. So we parked Brenda. We usually park her here, but we parked her up front because we don't trust her brakes anymore. <sighs> Did I mention that he said like, so he showed me the brake line. Yeah, the you back. guys Maybe got Maybe I'll just take a quick shot for you guys. But why are you facing that way? Because I'm an idiot. He showed you the brake line, and then what happened? He showed the brake line. I'm gonna. I'll take a quick video of it. Oh. But it's like he's. He said it's like an eggshell. He's like any time that brake line could snap, or burst, or. Oh my gosh. So it's really, really unsafe to be driving long distances or on the highway. Or at all, by the sounds of it. Yeah. So that's good times. Now, as sad as I am. There's a little piece of me that just wants to get a bus, <laughs> right? There's a large Maybe. piece. There's a large, probably a ridiculous. larger piece of me. Anyway, whatever. We'll whatever, figure it out. Whatever. We um, figure it out. It's true. We'll figure it out. While we were out and about with our errands, as we were driving back, I just swung by the my doctor's office because I had to um, pick up a requisition and then run over to a blood clinic is that what you call it kind of to get my blood taken and this would be I guess the third time I think this is the final time I'll need to get my blood taken basically I had it done when we first found out I was pregnant and then again like everything was fine and then when I was at the hospital when I was actually going through the miscarriage they took blood and then and everything was really low as it makes sense like my iron was really really bad and um so then they my doctor called me and said he wanted me to take it again like get it taken at some point in august just to make sure that everything's back to normal so i haven't been on my iron supplements i took them for like a month and i've just been off them the last few weeks and i'm pretty much only taking i'm still taking prenatal supplements just because they're full of good stuff and Jalgua? <laughs> I don't know how to say that. But Jal it's a Jalgua. It's a powder that my dad got me and it's full of iron, so I've been taking that. But it'll just be interesting to see how my levels are and everything. And it's really great. We have this thing in Canada called Life Labs and I've signed up for it so I'm able to actually see all my levels, like 
my I could see that my he, hemoglobin was really low and my um, red blood count. Your red blood count was like dangerously low. Dan yeah, it was really bad. So it's really great to see like all of that online. I think that's pretty awesome. So I signed up for that again. And so anyway, I got this fun thing done again. But that's just a little story of that. It'll be nice just uh, just to see where I'm at. Hopefully I'm back to normal with all my blood back in my system, I guess. Anyway. All right, so we have a little bit of an update. Uh, got a message from the man himself, Tony, he's our mechanic. This is his message. Tie rod bushing quote, which is what needs to be replaced at the front, 180 plus tax. And then rear flex lines, calipers, and rear brake lines, starting at 625 plus tax. Starting. So that's a minimum of $800 plus tax. I did the math. Uh, it's $900. So we have a little bit of thinking to do. Hey, buddy. It's hard because like Brenda's pretty old, so we don't know whether it's worth. The, the other thing is if she's so old, if we put a thousand dollars work, and that's like starting. He, he said it could be more than that. So if we put more than that into her and then something goes wrong in the next few months, then it's just, we're, it yeah, we're not really sure. So in the meantime, we're gonna pour some wine and go to trivia night. Because that will solve because our that... problem. <laughs> So if you guys know anybody with a bus for sale, then uh, <laughs> put the link in the comments and... Uh, actually do. Actually do. Yeah. And if you want to follow our adventures, continue to follow our adventures, don't forget to hit the like button and, uh, and uh, hit the subscribe and the bell for notifications, because remember that's, that's... That doesn't always notify it, you. It the doesn't. Bell bell's not ding-a-ling-ding. -ding. <laughs> we suck at... Self-promoting. We do. Okay, thanks Whatever. for watching, guys. Whatever, if you're guys. watching <laughs> near the end of the video, it's still impressive that you're here. <laughs> Hopefully we can find some wheels. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Love you. Bye. Oh, by the way, guys, we put, at the end of our videos, we always put peace, love, and something. And somebody was saying they were trying to guess the the word, the third word, peace, love, and whatever. And it's always, it right. it's always specific to the vlog. They guessed it right. Yeah. And we should probably give them a shout out. Hold on. Clary, 1225. She was trying to guess three words at the end before they popped up and boom, she was right. So see if you guys can do that in future vlogs. See if you can guess that third word and comment. And we'll what just, you think it would be. What you think it is going to be and we'll just, we'll just believe you that you commented before you actually saw it. And let us know if you got it right. Okay, that is all. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace, love, and trivia night. I don't actually know what it's going to be today, so, okay, bye. <laughs>